Hello everyone, welcome to a new Pixelmator tutorial podcast. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be based on selective desaturation, uh, another image editing technique you can use in Pixelmator. Um, for those of you who don't know what selective desaturation is, it's basically when you want one part or an object in uh, a picture to be with color while the rest is in black and white. So this is actually very good uh, if you want to make one picture stand out while the one one per picture part of the picture to be important while the rest isn't as much. So I'm just going to uh, give you a, um, a tutorial on how you can uh, make a, a picture with like a desaturation. So firstly, just open any picture with Pixelmator. Just drag a picture into the Pixelmator icon, and you have it open in Pixelmator. So firstly, you want to right click on your layer your picture layer and duplicate it so duplicate your layer and once you've had the uh, layer copy you want to right click it, it uh, again and click on add mask so now you have your mask added into um, uh, your picture and you have a duplicate of your picture so now we have to uh, desaturate the whole picture so just click on the other side. So uh, make sure you don't have your layer selected. You have like a blue outline around your picture. So then you just click on Command U, a keyboard shortcut, or go to Image, Hue and Saturation, and put your saturation all the way down. Now once we have a saturation all the way down, we have a black and white picture. And um, you know, I, th I think I just want to make uh, these two lines uh, um, with color, while the rest is black and white so the background is black and white and only the lines are uh, in color so in that way we know that the viewer what uh, the viewer will look at the line first as it's the most important part of the picture so now we click on our our mask and we make sure you have our mask selected and we have to click on the brush tool i already have it as a brush tool and you want to make sure that your primary and secondary color foreground and background colors are both black uh, so you gotta make them both black, and I'll uh, select uh, any size brush, and just color in the areas which you want to be basically with color. So as you can see, this lion is getting back its color, its original color. It is not black and white anymore. You can do it slowly, take your time, um, so you can get more accurate results. Slowly, this will look really nice, and you can uh, actually see right in front of you why this is an important technique uh, you want to do in pixel matter. It's actually a cool effect as well. Like in many movies as well, you can see maybe one part um, is color while the rest is black and white. Pretty awesome. Oops, I'm just gonna use that area. Slowly color the line cub. You know, see how it's standing out now from the background. And this look, this actually looks really awesome. This this uh, commands the undo areas which you feel you've slightly uh, colored over the background. And take your time. I'm rushing this. Guys, you know you can, you can take your time. So there we go. We have both of our lines colored. Now uh, let's see the difference. So if we go back to our layers, um, sorry, just for zooming out, and uh, we just uh, don't click. We just put the layer off. You can see the whole picture is uh, in color. And if we click this, you can see that the line and the line cover are the only picture, uh, the only part of the picture which is uh, in color, while the rest is black and white. This is actually very uh, nice. You can see that these two are the parts which you want, which which are really attractive, and you want the reader to, I mean the viewer, to immediately grasp attention to these two parts of the picture. And it's actually a great result. You can see also it's a very nice uh, effect to the picture, a good um, effect. Yeah, as I just said. And it's um, it's very cool. Make sure you don't have uh, you have to select. The, layer, the mask if you want to uh, color it. So I'll do that. So um, that's all guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Um,
um, definitely more tutorial podcasts coming up in the future. Um, so that's all, guys. Thanks for watching.